steak over here, but you could also use flat iron, skirt steak, flank steak, hanger steak, all of them work. Whichever is cheapest in the, in the uh, case that day, that's the one I bring home. So affordable marbled meat that's gonna be very quick cooking. Whenever you're making steak, cast iron skillet, essential. Wash this with salt, rub a little innocuous oil or light and flavor oil into the pan every time you use it and uh, let it get screaming hot before you add the meat to the pan. You get a nice sear and a good crust, in my opinion, if you use a fat amount of kosher salt on your steak. I like coarse black pepper. And then you drizzle the oil, olive oil or canola oil, onto the meat itself. Don't pour it in the pan. You get too much oil in the pan, will smoke. Take the meat, put it oiled side down, then season up side two. Once you put protein onto a hot surface, don't move it. Let that nice crust develop. Let the sugars in the protein turn into that nice, crunchy, reddish brown surface. You mess with this, you're going to end up with a really flavorless steak. You put it in when the pan's not hot enough and it's going to start to curl up and just get funky and start to steam in the pan. So those are tips on the steak. For the dressing, we're gonna make it right in the bottom of a bowl big enough to use for all of our ingredients. I'm gonna zest and juice one lime and get our first layer of flavor and acid into our green papaya salad dressing. Now, this is a green papaya. This is what it looks like when you cut it open. It just means it's super, super under ripe, so it doesn't have a super sweet flavor to it. The salad is equally delicious with a firm, ripe papaya, and if you can't find green, no big deal. Just get a, a good, firm papaya so it'll grate up easy for you. Okay? If the lime feels like it's not gonna give you any juice, throw it in the microwave oven on high for 10 to 15 seconds, and you will win. It will get its juices flowing. Throw that in there. Then we're going to grate in some ginger. When you peel ginger root, don't use a knife, use a spoon. The teaspoon gets around those little weird knobs. And when you're done using the ginger, put it in the freezer, it'll grate up even easier the next time you use it. And it won't shrivel up in your fridge and end up looking like a witch's finger. <laughs> grate in your ginger, grate in your garlic, and then we're going to add three tablespoons of fish sauce. That's what makes this salad taste like Thai papaya salad. If you can't find that, you should though. I live, as I said, way up in the Adirondacks and we have it in our grocery stores on the international foods aisle. Uh, if you can't find fish sauce, you could use just something salty and delicious like soy or tamari sauce. About three tablespoons of this guy. One, two, three. Then about two fat tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. One, two. Sweeten it up with light brown sugar. Oh, about a tablespoon and a half. Spice it up with sriracha. I like a ton. <laughs> then add a little bit of peanut canola or vegetable oil to that. And that's our dressing. I'm gonna throw in one seeded peeled papaya that I shredded up just on the box grater into kind of shoestrings like that. Throw that down into our dressing. And then we're going to add the combo that makes me love this salad so much. Fresh mint and basil. Yeah, yum. You just coarse chop the mint. Now basil, when you bring it off from the store, hates, hates, hates the cold. Don't put your basil in the fridge. You cut it like flowers, and then you put a large plastic food storage bag over the top. It gives it a greenhouse, and it just keeps growing until you're done with it and you throw it away. So, <clears throat> yeah, you put it in the fridge, it turns black and starts sticking together. It just does not dig the cold. So we're gonna stem a fat handful of both mint and basil and just coarse chop it. Just barely touch it with your knife or even tear it. Throw that in, and then I like red onion and green onion in my salad. And fresh chili peppers. You can use mild Fresnos or jalapenos or Thai chilies, little tiny Thai chilies. Seeded tomato. Lots of chopped dry roasted peanut. And then because we're serving it with steak, lots of spicy watercress. 
This salad is amazing just by itself. But as I said, my husband, John, he has to have a protein. And by protein, I mean it has to be pork or steak or chicken, you know. So we've got some beautiful hanger steak, thinly sliced. And we're going to pile this up. I wish you could smell this. The aroma is amazing. The ginger, the garlic, the sriracha, the fish sauce. It's salty. It's sweet. It's fragrant. I mean, it's just a perfect thing. Gorgeous. <laughs> Mound this up. And then pile a little sliced steak right along the side. And you are good to go. Make your own takeout tonight.